my beauties, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, my name is Lucy, welcome. How are you doing today? I hope you are having an amazing day today. And today we're gonna talk about Dior Atelier of Dream collection, which is their holiday 2021 collection. To be honest, I think there was a moment in the past, it was like ages ago when Dior just lost me. They weren't bringing any new formulas, the color story was basically the same from collection to collection and for the price point I just gave up. I've lost interest, I've moved on to new emerging brands that were launching new products, new formulas, new ideas every season and that was way more exciting. But recently, and I don't know if there's a slight shift in the brand or I'm just growing up, but I'm getting back to Dior. Like, I'm enjoying, especially their formulas. Like, I'm pleasantly surprised. So today I thought I'm gonna dig in into the holiday 2021 collection, which is the Atelier of Dreams. And first, let me say, that the visuals as always are stunning. Well, it's Dior, I wouldn't expect anything less. In that collection you have two eyeshadow palettes, the five pan eyeshadow palettes. You have one multitasking big palette. You have the gorgeous set of lipsticks with this metal pouch. It's just big enough to put your credit card, your keys. I've checked and I'm thinking, Ooh, should I get this lipstick set just for the pout? I don't know, we'll see, maybe it's gonna be on sale. And we have the new blush that is quite shimmery though, and single lipsticks as well. So I decided I'm gonna go slow, I'm gonna go easy on Dior, and I'm just gonna start with one eyeshadow palette, and I went for five color couture, the Atelier of Dreams in shade House of Dreams. The palette comes in the regular Dior packaging, nothing limited here. Oh, I don't know why, but I thought they are coming with a pouch. Maybe that's how they used to pack this. The outside packaging here, again, nothing limited here, but honestly, I think I wish there was a little bit of the atelier building on the box as well. Oh, and look at this here in the box, you have a little cheat sheet how to achieve soft look or intense look. It's so stunning. The imprint on the palette is the facade of actual Dior Atelier. We love that little moment. So obviously in the palette you have five shades. We're gonna test the formula in a second. And two double-sided mini brushes. Well, actually I would call them micro brushes. And I went with this more like cool tone, taupey palette with a little bit of even like pink undertones with a silver in the middle. The second palette is warm, rich, chocolatey browns with gold. But I thought warm browns and gold for Christmas, everyone's gonna do it. And obviously this palette speak to me a little bit more. So now I'm gonna show you how I created this look and then we're gonna go to final thoughts. This airbrush foundation, this is the first product that got me back to Dior and I love how it looks on the skin, it's so dewy, so flawless. If you are a little bit daring, you can apply this just like me, straight from the can to your face, but beware, it's gonna stick to your peach fast like crazy. Or you can spray this on your hand and then use a beauty blender to apply this on your face and still it's gonna give you a lovely finish. Then I went with Makeup by Mario Contour Stick. You know, we need to have those chiseled cheeks and hide the double chin. A little bit of Fenty concealer. And I set my face with hyaluronic powder from By Terry. For brows, I went with Valentino Trio Brow and this product is absolutely stunning. If you haven't tried this yet, I definitely recommend this. I started with this second to lightest shade and just put this all over my crease. It's gonna be our base. Then I've blended it a little bit with the lightest shade in the palette. Well, lightest from the nudes. Then I did a cut line with Charlotte Tilbury eye pencil. With the darkest shade from the palette, I went in outer corner and I blended out upwards so we're gonna have this more sultry look. For bottom lashes, I went with this taupey shade from left bottom corner in the palette and blended out with the second shade in the top row. And for inner corner, I went with the silver. And to finish the look, I went with Dior Lip Maximizer Hyaluronic Lip Plumper, you know, just to keep this on brand. 
and now it's time for my final thoughts. Honestly, I'm pleasantly surprised with the quality and how much I've enjoyed using this. I know 50 pounds for five eyeshadow, it might be a little pricey and I wish that would get rid of those two micro brushes and just lower the price. But you know what? It's Dior, you are paying for quality, you are paying for name and you are paying for the whole experience. Both palettes in Dior Atelier of Dreams collection are pretty, are just simply pretty. Is the color story anything unique? Mm, absolutely not. But you have to remember that the Dior customer probably not gonna want to paint a Christmas tree on their eyes. So I think for a Dior customer that is looking for high quality, is of use and something very universal, you are getting this here and that's why I love it. You have those gorgeous one and done eyeshadows that you can just apply with your finger, put a little bit of mascara and you are good to go. Okay, I think that it has. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please let me know in the comments down below what you think about this palette and see you in the next one. Bye!